Hi everyone, nice meeting you again on this Bali Tourism Media channel which always providing some information about Bali Tourism updates on a regular basis. If you are looking for your holiday to Bali or you are working in the tourism hospitality industry as a holiday maker, travel agency, travel planner, tour operators, travel DMCs and the like, you are on the right channel to review this detail for an update of Bali Tourism Destination. Today's topic, I'll share you the latest travel regulations entering Bali. While doing this presentation, I'll be also showing you this video background is the street situation in Kuta beside Kuta Beach and I'll be driving to South Sulagian area. Actually, this video is made to answer some questions on this channel for the latest regulations entering Bali, Bali travel update, how to travel to Bali, and what sorts of travel documents to bring. Anyway, here are the details. The first one, Bring all hard copy of documents, including the original valid passport, of a minimum six months from the date of arrival in Bali. A valid offshore visa, entry permits to foreign nationals holding valid visas or residence permits, which should be applied online earlier, for those foreign visitors who are not eligible to get visa on arrival or VOA upon arrival in Bali. Visit visa on arrival for tourism purpose or VOA is only eligible for 23 countries for the time being and subject to travel regulation applied. The cost for VOA is USD certified per person. The VOA is valid for foreign visitors arriving through Bali airport only. The country subject to a visit visa on arrival for tourism purpose has ever been mentioned on my earlier video on this channel. Other countries which are not on the list means they are not eligible for the time being of getting visit visa on arrival in Bali airport. However, for those countries out of 23 countries, they should apply e-visa in advance prior to leaving for Bali. The e-visa available for foreign nationals or foreign visitors to enter the territory of Indonesia including Bali is a tourist visit visa with index number B211A single entry. Visa application procedure should be with a guarantor in Indonesia as a sponsor. The latest information, the Indonesian government will soon add some other countries like China, India, Spain, Sweden, etc. to be eligible to get VOA in Bali airport said by the Indonesia Tourism Minister and Creative Economy recently in Jakarta and the official circular letter will be issued very soon. The third document to bring is a return flight ticket and or onward flight ticket. Many airlines will check passengers have an onward flight when checking you in to ensure you don't overstay your visa period. The fourth is the proof of negative RT-PCR swab test from the country of origin which is taken within 48 hours prior to boarding. This is required by Indonesian immigration besides by the airlines. It needs to be a PCR test with a QR code. Once arriving in Bali airport, first PCR test should be made to all foreign visitors then, second PCR test will be made on day 3 in the hotel where the foreign visitors or foreign nationals stay or it can be made in a nearby verified hospital 
for doing the PCR test. The fifth is the proof of prepaid hotel booking along with hotel booking confirmation for a minimum of first three nights stay in a verified hotel by the government that has a valid certificate of cleanliness, health, safety, and environment. A complete dose of COVID-19 vaccination card or certificate in English physical or digital, and should be with a valid barcode. The last vaccination should be done at least 14 days prior to leaving for Indonesia. Foreign visitors who are under 12 years old and who are unable to get vaccination, they must be showing an original proof of health certificate from a reliable hospital's doctor and proven to be free from COVID-19 the statement must be made in English. Proof of ownership of travel insurance coverage from the country of origin with a minimum of 25,000 USD per person which will be used in terms of their financing when they are undergoing treatment in hospital and or related to COVID-19 treatment. Bank account showing the proof of minimum balance of 2,000 USD per person or a valid statement letter from the bank. Every passenger should have downloaded Peduli Lindungi app or electronic health alert card from Apple via iOS store or in Android via Play Store and fill in details of your journey ready to show the QR code to Indonesia Immigration. Every passenger should have also downloaded other two apps, Jaga Wisata Indonesia Travel COVID Insurance Application and COVID-19 Test Application. Links will be provided on this description box of this video. Jaga Wisata Indonesia Travel COVID Insurance with a minimum coverage of 35,500 USD is mandatory to be taken or to be bought by foreign nationals upon arrival in Bali Airport, including the cost of two times RT-PCR test. The first will be made upon arrival in Bali Airport and the second one will be taken in the hotel or in nearby hospitals on day three. The current cost of insurance premium and two-time of RT-PCR test is currently at 85 USD per person. This cost should be paid upon arrival at Bali Airport directly by the foreign visitors. However, they have to download it first the application to be able to register for both the local travel insurance and the RT-PCR test. Another last RT-PCR test to be also taken within 48 hours prior to international departure from Bali as applied by the airlines. This is for foreign visitors who stay 5 days and over. The current approximate cost is at 22 USD per person at nearby certified hospital. By the way everyone, as we have seen together on this virtual tour, the tourism situation right now in Kuta Street next to Kuta Beach and South Lagan Street area are still very silent. Most tourism service sectors including restaurants, beauty and spa treatment service, travel agencies, money changes, tour counters, car rental, motorbike rental, handicraft and balance souvenir shops, art markets, other tourism supports are mostly still closed. Some hotels and villas have just started to reopen and some others are continuously open, however with limited rooms inventory to sell for their domestic tourists.
That is the details information which I can explain to you regarding the new travel regulations entering Bali at this time. I believe this Bali travel regulations update is useful as what you are looking for. Please do subscribe and click the bell icon to be able to get my next videos related to Bali tourism update on a regular basis. Please don't forget to like and share this video to your friends. Any questions and or any positive comment to improve this channel, please do it on comment space box provided on this video. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and see you on my next videos.